you don't know this yet, but I just interviewed uh, Terrence Gangster Williams. Okay. And we talked about a bunch of stuff. Number one, he was very happy when you mentioned him. It actually helped his social numbers and everything else like that. And we talked about some of the some of the stuff that he accused you of. Yeah. So, you know, I, I pressed him on the whole PC thing. Yeah. Because he claimed that you were in PC. Yeah. And when I pressed him on it, he admitted, okay, no, Boosie wasn't in PC. He was in a section with all the death row inmates at the time, which he was forced to be in. And then at the point that he was clear to that, then he moved back to the general population. So I'm like, that's not PC. Boosie's a man from the streets. Boosie's a man that, that have a big voice, mm -hmm. right? And when he speak, people listen. So calling me the rat and all that, okay, cool. I get that he mad about the, me calling him, say he was in PC. But when you say- He wasn't in PC though. Yes, he was, lad. But when, when he was locked up? Stuff. Yes, he was, yes, he was in PC, that's, lad. That's not what I heard. Uh, listen, hear me out, that's, lad. That's not what I heard. Your, your guy, uh, E-40, who was, in, who was actually in Golden with Boosie, right? He must say, Boosie, and Boosie said he was on death row, right? Death row have two, it's two death rows. You have the old death row and you have the new death row. All the inmates that were sentenced to death row were actually placed in the cells on death row on a new death row. The old death row, that's where Boosie was housed at by himself. Boosie was charged with the murder. He wasn't convicted with the murder. Mm -hmm. So, of course, he's not going to be in population with these people because he's still going to court, lad. And he admitted, he said, once I beat the murders, I had a chance to either go to population or stay in that row. I mean, stay in PC. He said it on your channel. Because I took it and ran with it, and that's what made him mad, even mad, and cussed me out, right? But my thing was this. That's not a bad thing to go on, on PC. It wasn't a, he didn't go on PC for checking in because he's scared to go to population. He was placed on that tier because he couldn't go with the rest of these guys because he had that murder. He was fighting. Wait, you said E-40? E-40 was a lot. No, no, E-40. Remember, the yeah. dude, uh, e, um, e Solid. Okay, it's yeah. a little I short was say E40 yeah. has not been in prison ever. Yeah, mom, because I, I said that before on my channel. It's, it's a little short guy named E. Solid from New Orleans that was actually locked up with Boosie. He knew about all that. Um, man, there's plenty of people I know from Angola that was locked up with Boosie that'll tell you the same. I'm telling you, Vlad. Think about this, Vlad. When you go to trial, and you know how to look the paperwork up when you go to trial, you're going to get sentenced. You're going to either get sentenced to life, you're going to get sentenced to numbers, life, or death row. Boosie was never sentenced to death row. You never saw that paperwork right around. No, he was never sentenced. Uh, okay, then. So to death. No. that's what I'm saying. So for when he said I'm on, I was on death row, you wasn't actually sentenced to death row. You came from way because you got in trouble. They put you there on that tier. Mm -hmm. Now eventually he did come off there because he was in, in probably with, with uh, 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 C murder and all that. Right. That's all I was saying. So Bushy got upset. You and went off on me and say about me. Now, like I say, right. So he was just sentenced in the section where other people that potentially could get death. Right. Were sentenced. Mm -hmm. So it's not PC. It's right. sort it's of like a section, special right. section. So, you put over that, yeah. So Boosie so, was not in PC, P PC. No, right. And he goes, okay, yeah, that's on not PC. death row, this is how you know he, this bullshit. Vlad, on death row, it's not a dormitory. It's individual cells? It's individual cells. The death row inmates can't even be around each other. Right. You People can't even cut your hair. <laughs> you have to put the clippers in your cell and you have to cut your own hair. When you're on death row, you die in a cell. They don't put you in population and let you walk around again. Only time you walk around is that 30 minutes you come out your cell to go to the phone and shower. Yeah. Man, come on, man. Gangster, no, man. Right. Well, he actually said that based on your criticism, he has changed his name. He is now Terrence Civilian Williams. <laughs> He's saying he's not a gangster anymore. He don't want no parts of that. He is happy. The YouTube money has gotten him his own apartment. He's got a nice little car. He's living his life. He don't want no piece of that. In fact, he even said that when he got out, he went to Baton Rouge. Uh, sorry, he went to uh, uh, New Orleans. And baby called him and said, man, you need to get the fuck up out of there. And he, he got right out. He moved. He's living a, a nice, quiet life. But what, what's crazy, and for some reason, when I did the first interview with him, this part didn't register. But when he cooperated and, you know, they gave him what was essentially somewhat of a proffer agreement, 
and he told on his dead friends, which he admitted that he did. He admitted himself to 40 murders. Does he that surprise tell you, you I mean, nah, that don't surprise me in that city, man. I mean, but gangsta got niggas in, bro. I don't want to comment on it, but. Well, we, 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 just, we talked about the, 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 the wearing the wire allegations. And, and I'll be honest with you because I, I pressed him on this as well. You know what I'm saying? You, you know how I do. We pulled up the paperwork where, and, and I heard about the allegations about how he wore a wire and he got these dudes in MDC Brooklyn, like uh, life in prison. But when you look through the actual paperwork, and I found, and I actually looked up the original paperwork, his name is not on that paperwork. And the other piece of paperwork that they found, they try to kind of link to, the two together has nothing to do it was it was a random like a fear of your life situation but it had nothing to do with the with the paperwork of him uh wearing uh, of a person a, a confidential informant wearing a wire so i'm not going to stand behind that what i feel is the most serious accusation is what happened in mdc brooklyn mm -hmm. you know what i'm talking about already mm -hmm. right right so I pulled up some paperwork. There was some paperwork that was floating around and I, I pulled up some of the actual government paperwork and so forth. So we're going to stick with the facts on it. Right. But what the accusation is, I'm not saying this is true, but right. what people are accusing you of was that you were locked up in the federal facility in Brooklyn with two guys, Timothy Pinckney. Mm -hmm. And there's another guy named Sean Taylor. Mm -hmm. And the paperwork claims that these guys were hanging out with you while you were wearing a wire, you're a confidential informant, and you had conversations with him, and Pinckney said that he admitted to a few murders. That's what they say, that during these conversations, this guy admitted to some murders, and then you turn around and took that to the feds. This guy got life in prison. The other guy also, I believe, got a serious sentence, and that's how you got out of prison. Hmm. I saw that. Uh, people been sending me that. That's not true. Um, the paperwork, I read it. My name never showed up in here. Then what they was doing, they was taking stuff from my actual case, what I did cooperate with, adding with that paperwork. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, yeah, he did tell. See, because when you transfer, I mean, when you travel, you're going to go to different uh, holding facilities. Mm -hmm. But man, I, I never uh, wore a wire on nobody in prison. No, I do a wore a wire on my co-defendant. There's another piece of paperwork here that does have your name on it. Uh, it's dated 8-30-2013. We'll go ahead and show it. And it said, Terrence Williams, a.k.a. Gangster, was interviewed at the United States Courthouse, Brooklyn, New York. Present this interview were Special Agent S.A. Thomas J. McNally and Detective Jeffrey Valenzano, New York City Police Department. Williams provided the following information. Williams say that he, Williams, heard from a Muslim brother who was in transit through MDC that... Angela Ruggiero was going to make trouble for Williams if he, Williams, takes the stand. Williams also stated that he was in conversation with a prisoner, McCullum, not further identified, who stated to Williams that S. Dot is my main man. Williams believed that McCullum may be jailed on an insurance fraud charge. Hmm. Do you know what this is? Have you seen this paperwork before? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. That's the first one. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's the first one they come out with. So it was like, okay, we're going to put this with this. Now, the Angela Ruggiero guy, uh, when I Googled him, he was dead. But then I found out he had a son. So the son uh, was in Jeff's up with me. But when I read that, I was like, okay, so what does this have to do with these murders? Because this is a, an Italian guy. He don't have nothing to do with this, you know? Uh -huh. But like I say, man, um, I never had nothing to do with that stuff. I never uh, wore a wire on the dude in prison. Nobody, There's nobody to come forward and say, yes, this man put me in prison. Um, but like I say, and the way this internet go, it don't tell it what they do, because I know they've been trying to get all kind of people. But here's the thing, Vlad. No matter who come forward, no matter what paperwork they keep trying to put together. You just say now the original paperwork don't have my name nowhere in it. No, I, I looked it up. So so the original paperwork I found by doing some Google The legal search. paperwork. Yeah, I mean, it's if you go no, to... No, you're going to show... I did the same Gov research. Info .gov, it's, it's a whole PDF file mm -hmm. off the government website. And like I said, these two guys really are charged with murders and drug selling and everything else like that. And mm -hmm. there was a confidential informant that supposedly cooperated mm -hmm. about the murders, but your name is not on here. You may have something I don't have, but from what I saw, I didn't see it. 
You could not comment on it if you want. <laughs> I don't want to comment on it. Like <laughs> people that sent me so much shit on this dude, bro. Like, and, and we went over all this shit. We went over all the paper. It is what it is, man. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to talk about gangsta. I mean. I'm glad he is a civilian. Civilian, now. you mean? You want to talk about civilian? Yeah, I don't want to talk about, yeah, <laughs> civilian. I mean, <laughs> man, as long as he ain't bad-mouthing me, seemed like he didn't cool down with bad-mouthing yeah, me. Yeah, no, he didn't, he didn't I ain't going to say me. nothing about him. No, yeah. I, don't, I don't let people bad-mouth you on Black TV. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say about gangsta, I mean. There you go. 